my shave of the day for today. It's January 30th, 2018. And I did want to say uh, thank you for joining me for this shave today. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope you're uh, doing well. I'm not doing too bad myself here. It's a Tuesday night. Uh, just got done doing a workout, getting my dinner in. And I figured, you know, since I got that workout in, took a shower, let's get the shave on now. Okay, so to get started, I just wanted to go through some of the equipment they'll be using for the uh, shave today. The hardware side, uh, this is a razor I haven't used in a while, but I do like it quite a bit. Uh, this is my this is a 1964 uh, Gillette Slim Adjustable. Definitely uh, like this razor a lot. It's a good razor here. Got a little plate loss on it, but you know what? It doesn't affect the shave whatsoever. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to probably be using it on setting 9 here. <clears throat> the blade I have in here, it's the Pulse Silver Super Radium. This is its third, I'm sorry, the fourth use on this. So that might be the last one. We'll see. I do get a pretty good use out of these pole silvers. Some blades are just good for me and some are just junk. Maybe not junk, but they're not long lasting. So that's the razor here. On uh, the brush, I used a sample today. So I kind of whipped it up in the brush first, but the brush is my Haircut and Shave Co. 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot here. With this uh, cool barber pull handle like that but uh, but the soap in here uh, this is a <clears throat> osp sandalwood this is a sample sent to me courtesy of blind man shades billy curtis so thank you billy appreciate that a lot i just squash it down the bottom of this uh stainless steel bowl here i feel like this guy can get a good grip on your hand with it and just uh whipped it up got a good amount here like i said a ton of lather there boom nice so i don't know if i'll be using that much <laughs> during the shave we'll see and maybe I'll leave it for a head shave. We'll see. So there's the uh, the soap and the brush here that we'll be using. <clears throat> uh, the aftershave I'm going to be using, I just figured to go with this. I like it. Uh, the Panade Clubman. It's pretty good stuff here. And then the balm I'll we'll be using is the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. So another good, just one I like. Okay, so that's some of the hardware and the software we'll be using. So we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. Okay, so like I said, just got out of the shower, but I'll put a little more hot water in the face here just to add a little more water. Okay, so I'll bring this to the face and start building up the lather. Don't have to do much, but... It is nice, uh, <clears throat> there's a good smell to it here. Maybe like three or four on the scent strength here. But I like OSP, they are good performing soaps there. Nice and slick. Good post shave. Cushiony, as you can see, very nice. That's yeah, beautiful. Gonna go against the grain here just to get it under the whiskers. Boy, what a nice lather, I'll tell you. OSP is top stuff. I like it a lot. Beautiful. What a beautiful lather. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go for the First pass here uh, with the grain. The pole silver, fourth use. I'm just gonna do a quick thing here. There we go. Let's go down frame a little bit. Yeah, not bad. Two days with the growth. This is a nice uh, setting here, I find. I don't find nine on this to be too crazy. <clears throat> it's pretty comfortable to me. You can feel the blade, but it's not too much. I know this is a lot of people's uh, favorite razor. It's a good one. Got a nice weight to it. You can see people are usually spending around 35 for these. Uh, <clears throat> I paid 20 for this, but like I said, it wasn't in the best shape. 
but that's okay. I at least wanted to try it, you know. Want to pick up another one with a little bit better condition? I can always do that. These are a lot easier to come by than a, <clears throat> a Fat Boy. Then the Fat Boys were only made for a few years. I forget the, the exact dates. But... Yeah, real nice. I like the little bit. They're supposed to have a little bit longer handle, though, so I. I don't mind the longer handle if that's the case. Yeah, but a great shave. So comfortable. <clears throat> a little update in the weight loss front. Uh, was it Monday morning last week? I weighed in, I checked today, it was uh, 285.8 pounds. I weighed in this morning at 279.8. So a pretty good little loss there. It's at about six. <clears throat> I don't know if that's uh, mostly water weight or what. So I did go from eating like really salty stuff to not as much. Even I wasn't even that great this week. I definitely ate out, but I tried not to eat it terribly. <clears throat> but you know, like Friday night, we went out, had some beers for my sister's birthday. She turned 32. So, you know, I was drinking and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, past two here. Oh man, look at that. Right there. Wonderful stuff. I should really pick up uh, the full tub of OSP. One of these days, uh, I haven't been buying stuff recently because I just haven't been doing online surveys, I haven't really had a lot of time. Yeah, definitely uh, try to get, like I said, getting back on track here with the weight loss. Yesterday I finished the day with 20,000 steps. Might be a little bit less today because I usually try to do like three walks at work. And I didn't get to do my third one today. At the end of the day, I was just really busy, so... I walked a little longer in the treadmill we got. My aunt gave us an old treadmill she had. <clears throat> so I trying to use that. Watching YouTube videos. I, I'm behind. I'm just I've been really busy this month. Hopefully this next month I won't be so as busy so I can start trying to catch up here on videos, but yeah. Watched a couple on the uh, treadmill. So that was cool. Beautiful. <clears throat> Great shave so far. Very nice and smooth. Okay, so third pass will go against the grain here. That was a cross. Second pass was. Look at tons of leather. Oof. So there's I'm in third pass here and a good amount of stuff. So <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to shave that save that for head shave. Maybe not my next one. <clears throat> I have to break it up a bit. Or maybe the one after that. <clears throat> I'll just leave it in the bowl because I've had great success with saving lather. Like, here's my other bowl that I put to the side. Every time I'm done, I'm just going to take what's out of the brush and put it in here. And I'll try to save it there. It's getting real dry, but that'll reconstitute just fine. So, a little experiment. Uh, 
had one going prior, but around Christmas, my wife took it out here and she washed it. <laughs> got all my leather gun. I'm like, no. <laughs> my experiment. Look at all that, love, man. It's beautiful stuff. Love OSP. <clears throat> James Rao, the owner, is a pretty good dude. I talked to him a little bit here and there. I try to bring up, uh, oh, I got myself there. Whatever, a bump. See a little red. I try to talk him up on other f forums. Like, you know, he definitely does get some love on Facebook and stuff like that, but. I try to give them a little love on uh, different sites like Reddit and stuff. He's a good dude. He makes a good. He makes some good stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Billy sent uh, broke the stick a full tub. Oh, I forget what it was now. Oh, maybe Spice Road? Yeah, I think it was Spice Road. <clears throat> yeah, some good stuff. This, I like this uh, sandal. It's pretty good. This is the first time I tried a, a straight sandalwood scent here. I'm liking it. And I think this is the type of product... Where, uh, you know, you see those uh, certain kind of products being marketed, like, you know, they have people selling them, and they're like, oh, but it's, you know, all, all natural, and this and that, all essential oils, I'm pretty sure all of OSP, pretty sure all OSP uses essential oils in their scents and stuff like that, so. They're used, definitely using great ingredients, and. No different fragrances, even though I don't, I'm not, I'm not opposed to using fragrance oils or anything like that. There are just some fragrance oils you need to use because otherwise you're not going to get the scent. <clears throat> now, if I wanted a cotton candy soap, I'm not going to find cotton candy essential oil. I'm going to have to use some sort of fragrance oil. I don't know <laughs> what that. That'd be an interesting one, but <laughs> a cotton candy, or what's it called in the UK? Candy floss. Let me know. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. So I just put a little more on here. Do some pickups. See if I need to. Pretty smooth shave, gotta say. Loose. No trouble, I just might just do a couple. These normal kind of weird spots. Okay. And I think that would do it pretty close otherwise. Yep, feeling pretty good here. Okay, so I'm gonna do a cold water splash here. And start off here. Yep. <clears throat> Enough for me, alum to the face. Got a little too close right there, I think. Yeah, almost a neck. 
I thought I did. Oh well. Other than that though, not too bad. Yeah, after she was gonna burn it. <laughs> oh well. And just a little bit. Not too crazy, but it'll be gone. Okay. So then the aftershave, the Panade Clubbin. Oh, I love that stuff. Great set. Trying down, we'll just go through again what we use for the shave. So, the razor, <clears> the <throat> 1964 Gillette Slam Adjustable did a very nice job here. The pole silver on the fourth use, this might make a fifth use actually because it was pretty not bad at all for this uh shave. <clears throat> Looking pretty good, I'll clean it up a bit. Good, okay. Then the brush was the Haircut and Shave Co. 24 millimeter tuxedo stun knot here with this uh. Nice bar ripple handle. Did a great job whipping up that lather. And the soap, the OSP uh, sandalwood. Awesome uh, soap there. So thanks again, Billy. Definitely do appreciate that. The aftershave, the Panade Clubman. Okay, and then the balm we'll be using. And again, this Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. So just pour out a little here. There we go. Yeah, that's great. Feels great. What a really nice shave. <clears throat> Got through it pretty quick, too. Didn't, what's it, 17 minutes so far? So <laughs> not too bad with a little bit of talking. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, shave of the day for today. So I did want to say uh, thank you for checking out the video. Definitely do appreciate it. Uh, please like and comment below. Definitely appreciate that. You know, if you can't leave a comment, give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, I would also please say uh, subscribe if you haven't already. You can either do that below or I'll leave a link you can click on right here. And uh, please check out some of my older videos. I'll leave a suggested video right here. So again, uh, thank you for checking out the video. Hope you have a great night. I hope you have some great shades.